Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can get different buildings and stuff in Stardew Valley, like the silo and chicken coop, and you can get a barn for cows and stuff and whatever, but yeah, so if you're just at your farm, you can go up this way and go over to, um, what's her name? Robin's house? I can't believe I forgot her name. It's been... A while since I played Stardew, so I forget some of the stuff, so yeah, but in this world, I don't think I've built anything in this world yet, so yeah, um, but we just have to go over here to this house. Oh, they're not open yet, but yeah, so you go over to this house and they open at 9am, so I just have to wait a couple seconds here. There we go. So I, yeah, we just go talk to her at the counter, and you can upgrade house, and then you can also upgrade farm buildings. You can also shop for different um, materials and stuff, and get different um, things here. But yeah, you can buy a few different things, um, and then, oops, if we go... You can upgrade house, I forgot how you do the upgrade house, because in one save I- I think in a couple different saves I did it, but it's been a while, so I kind of forgot. But yeah, if you go to construct farm buildings, then you can see the materials that you need, and how much money you need. So yeah, I don't have enough wood or stone on me right now. And it takes three days to do the coop, so you can you can do that if you want to. And then the barn, it takes three days for this too, and you need however much wooden stone there, however much money. The well, pretty pretty small with that project. It's not too much money, and it's not as much stone. It takes two days to do. And then the silo. So you're probably going to want to do the silo first. And then, yeah, you're also going to need copper bars. I'm going to, in another video, I did show how to do that, but I'll probably make another video on how to do that too. So, if, if you want to, if you don't know how to do the copper bars, you just need a furnace, I think. But yeah, this takes two days. And it's only a hundred money, so it's not that much. But yeah, you can easily find different stones and stuff around, uh... Your, your farm and stuff. Clay, I think you just hit the ground with, um, if you take your hoe, I think, and then you just hit the ground in random places, and I think you can find it that way. Um, yeah, yeah, you just need a furnace for, uh, smelting stuff, so you can make copper ore, or, or bars, I mean, not the ore. You need the ore to put into the furnace, and then it'll make bars. You need, like, five of whatever ore, and then you can make bars. But yeah, that's how I did this iron bar. I did another video where I kind of showed how to do that, but I'll probably make a specific video on how to do this, but, you know, if you don't know, just make a furnace and put five of these in there, and yeah, if you don't know how to do that. But, yeah, um... So you're gonna have, you're, you're gonna want to do the silo first, so then you can cut down grass, and it'll automatically go into the silo, and then you know you can do other stuff. Cause on my first save, I messed that up, and I cut down all the grass before I did the silo, and now I don't really have any grass. So yeah, <laughs> I I I didn't. I didn't know what I was doing because it was my first save and I, you know, so I, don't be dumb like I was. You should get the silo first and then start doing grass and stuff. Um, and then there's the mill and then you can wheat, beets, and white rice with that. Um, but yeah, you do need cloths. I don't know if I have any cloth on the safe, because I'm not very far into the game, but I don't know where you get cloth, actually. I mean, I was gifted cloth before, so maybe it's just that, but I 
Maybe at the store, I think? It's been so long since I played this. It's been a few years, so I don't really remember, but yeah. Um, there's also a shed, and then you can put whatever stuff in there, and then you can decorate it and whatever. And then there's a fish pond, so I guess if you don't have a fishing area at your island, then you can put this there, or you can make it the pond at your place different, I don't know. But, yeah. <laughs> Um, a cabin, so you can have a friend if you if you play Stardew Valley on multiplayer, then you can get different houses for different players if you want to do that. And it's only a hundred money, and it's instant, so you you know, and then you can change the appearance too to whatever type of house that you like. And then there's a pet thing, which I think you automatically get if you have a pet already. But I guess if you get multiple pets, I think you... I think... I don't think you could get multiple pets before. Because back when I played it however many years ago, I think you could only have one. Like, you could only have a cat or a dog. So I think they updated that before. And it's instant. Um, you need hardwood, wood, which I did make a video on how you can get hardwood. You can, you can go watch that video if you need to, but you can also, yeah, change the appearance. I guess if you change the appearance, I guess it still needs hardwood even if you change the appearance. That's kind of weird. A stable, so if you get a horse, well, I guess it's horse included, so, okay. <laughs> So, this might be something that you want to get right away, if you have hardwood and iron available, and it's two days, but yeah, I've seen people have horses already, and I'm like, I haven't done that yet, because I haven't <laughs> played enough, and I haven't, I just haven't done it yet, I guess, on my one save, and because I haven't played in a while, so I don't know, but yeah, there's also the slime hutch, which you're gonna have to play a lot in order to do this, uh, because the this bar, the purple bar, I think you have to do a lot of stuff to get that, and then the refined quartz. Actually, don't think I was able to get the refined quartz. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure that out, but it's there if you know how to do it, and then you can have slimes right next to your house, I guess, and you can do that. Yeah. And then there's a shipping bin. So, yeah. I don't know if you can fill your shipping bin. I think it's pretty, like, you can put as much stuff in there as you want, I think. So I don't know why they would want you to do another. I don't know. But, yeah. And then when you get one of these, you have to to place it in a certain place wherever you want and yeah I don't know if I can show here because I don't have enough wood or stone on me because the stone yeah I have 56 stone and not enough wood I mean I could go get wood and stone I need 300 wood and 100 stone so I could go back and pick up some stone and wood. I could even just do some chopping down trees over here. <laughs> So, there's Robin telling me that I can do more stuff, and then I can, she can make a well for me if I want. So, yeah. Um, lost my favorite axe. Okay, I guess I'll keep an eye out for that too, but... a little over an 
enough now, so... I should go up there and see. Wait, I think it was the coop, though, that was... I think it was just the coop that was available if I got that money, so... I don't I mean, I could still do the well, too, but... I mean, I do have a water supply kind of close, though, so I don't know. But, like, I feel like I need the silo first. I just also kind of want to just show what it looks like when you're trying to set stuff. And they are open, so... Okay, so yeah, now I have enough for the coop. Um... The well, I, I mean, I could do the well still, but... Yeah, I need clay and cover bars for the silo, so... I mean, it could still wait. The shed, I could also do the shed, because I have enough there. I mean, I, I feel like I should just show what a bigger building looks like. Um... So, like, if I show how this looks, yeah. So, it's it's not too big, but you can also make a fence around it. Um, I mean, I think if you put it where trees are, it'll automatically remove those trees and bushes. But then it's like, I don't think you really want to do that, because you want to take the wood from it first, and then put the thing down. So, if you're going to build something, you should remove the trees yourself, and then put it down. Because then you might lose out on resources and stuff. So you're just better off removing it yourself and then doing it. Um, that's why I say get a silo first so you can take out all this grass and stuff first. And then, and then you can, yeah. And then that way you'll have enough stuff. Or you can, I mean, I can put it over here, but I don't know. I feel like I should put it a little away from my house. The silo could be kind of over here, but then it's not next to the barn or, so, or the coop or whatever. But at the same time, it doesn't need to be right next to it, so I don't know. But yeah, you can choose the location for this, or you can exit out if you don't want to. Like, maybe you want to do a different thing. Um, this, I, I don't know if I really need a well here, because there's water all around my island, so it's kind of like, would it really be worth putting this down? Is it worth the stone and money just to put this down? Because I have water everywhere, all around, so I, I don't know, but I mean, I could put it right next to here, because I think, do I need water for this? I didn't have this before in other saves, and I haven't used it in the save really, so I don't know. I can't. Oh, I guess I can't put it in front of there, but yeah. I, I mean, I could put it here. I can always get more stone from mining and stuff, so I. Even though I just got a bunch of stone for the coop. I don't know where to put the coop right now, anyways, so I'm, I guess I'll. I guess I'll just put this here, and that'll show up. And, yeah, she'll start working on it first thing tomorrow, and now I have 28 stone, so, yeah, all that for whatever, but, I mean, whoops, <laughs> what is happening, but, yeah, um, but, yeah, also, if you start building something, you can't build something else, so, you can't build two things at once. That would be too much for Robin. But, yeah, you can also buy some other stuff if you need to. You can also buy the stone and wood that you need. But, but like, if you if you want it for free, you can just go out and do it. So, you know, whatever. But, yeah, if I go over here, there should be that thing there now. And, yeah. Oh, I should pick this up <laughs> before I forget about it. But yeah, you can you can just go get whatever materials that you need, like wood and stone and whatever. You can get stone from mining and stuff. I do have a video on how to go mining if you need that. And yeah, so 
there's this here, and Robin will work on it under construction. I don't think I can, I can go in here, okay. And then I can plant stuff. I haven't used this at all. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess in the winter, this might be good for winter stuff, too. So, yeah, anyways, I guess that's kind of it on how to do building stuff if you need to. You just need to make sure everything's roomy enough for said building. Some buildings are a bit bigger than others, so you're gonna have to make enough room for that. And yeah, so I guess that's it for this video though, so bye!